Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Sorry the videos haven't been so every day or as usual as I normally do. I've been struggling to get sort of anything done really. I've got packages that need to be sent, I just can't get to the post office. I'm working pretty much seven days a week, spending a lot of time with the kids, they're off school, so there's our school holidays over here, the summer holidays, so hopefully I'll get back on track in the next couple of weeks or so. But that being said, whenever I get a chance, I try and have a shave on camera. And today I'll be using Phoenix and Bull Denali, which is basically peppermint and menthol. It smells great. That's what the soap looks like. Now it's quite firm now. When you first get this soap, it's quite soft. And this one didn't come with a Phoenix and Bull imprint on it, I believe, because it was more like a, a crop or a cream, sort of a firm cream. But it has firmed up. I've left this obviously to sit in air after every shave and that makes quite a difference to the to the soap itself in terms of softening up a bit, hardening up, sorry. That's a little bit of fresh air in. Right, so the brush for today, I haven't used this for a little bit, is my Craving Shaving. This is my Siri brush, so this is based on the colours from the Siri logo that Apple uses the apple design so the pinks blues aqua that sort of aqua green up the top here and it's really is a vibrant purple that's in here purple vibrant pink really pops and it's got a 20 i think it's a 26 mil i'm going to say duranol is it duranol from phoenix artisan accoutrements i think it is but it's a very very nice knot very soft quite dense great face feel and it almost looks like it's got gel tips so straight into the soap. Phoenix and Bolt are a UK artisan. They've been around for, I believe, longer than I've been wet shaving anyway. At least three or four years, I think, they've been to get been a company. It could be longer than that. Kerry, who is the, the artisan over there, really, really nice guy. He puts a lot of pride and effort into his stuff. His look, labels are beautiful. But his soaps perform so, so well. Even though... Most soap companies out there at the moment are reformulating, reformulating, uh, creating new formulas, They're bringing out things with duck fat and duck juice and goat's ass milk and just so much stuff happening. And they are incredible soaps. Phoenix and Bow soaps are still as good as anything on the market. They haven't fallen behind at all, in my opinion. So that's the brush loaded. Now this is a reasonably mentholated soap, it's not super, super menthol. I've got three days growth, which would be nice to knock down and as you've seen from the photograph at the start and possibly the description of the video, I will be using the straight razor today. Whether I'll be using it for the whole the with the green and cross the green pass or just the with the green pass we shall soon see how I'm feeling with it I haven't used it for about a week or so not that I haven't wanted to I've just been so tired one thing I'm finding with straight razor shaving is that if you're not with it and you just, you're just exhausted or you've been working a lot or you're not getting enough sleep or you're doing long days or you're getting up early anything like that where it's actually affecting your fatigue levels Straight razor shaving for me is quite a, quite a, it's almost a chore. Not a chore, but it's something you have to be fresh for, in my opinion. You can't, it's not something I can do or I feel like doing when I'm a little bit under the weather or I'm exhausted. So it's something to bear in mind is if you start off with straight razor shaving and it's something you want to do all the time. I'm not saying you'll be like me, but I like to think I've got a, a similarity to a lot of blokes in that when you're just knackered, you just want something that's quick and easy. It seems to be the blokish way. <laughs> I've also changed the diet, which is at the moment certainly making a big impact on our energy levels. We've went back to paleo, which is something, a lifestyle we followed for many years, nearly four years, three and a half years. Lost a lot of weight, felt better than we ever did, and then fell off the bandwagon. So we're back on it, and it's it's been hard. It's you go back through those sugar cravings again. The I think they call it the sugar comas, where you 
where you're just exhausted all the time. You've got no energy. Your body's craving sugar. But you can't give it it. <laughs> You've got your mind saying one thing and your heart saying another. minty scent, that peppermint, it's really zingy, it's really in your face peppermint. It smells almost like a tree bore, extra strong mint. Or if you haven't heard of tree bore and you're American, it smells very much like Altoids, peppermint Altoids. Very very strong mint scent. So off the handle, I'm going to leave this a little bit thicker today, mainly because of time. I really don't have the time for this shave either, but I'm doing it anyway. So there is the brush, absolutely chock a block full of that beautiful Phoenix and Bolt lather. And as you can see, very, very peaky, very dense, very creamy, beautiful. And this is, I believe, let me just double check. Just want to make sure, yep, yeah, it is tallow based. But very, very dense, very nice lather. So, razor for today is my Drew Dick Custom, which is 20 layer Damascus steel. You can see Drew Dick's logo on there. Asian striped ebony, brass pins, G10 white liners, and a natural black horn wedge. And it's got a beautiful big tang on it. The tang's massive, it's great. And got some jimps on the top here for grip when you're stropping and when you're shaving. And this is a Barber's Notch English Point 7 8 blade and it's just a stunning razor so I'm just going to dip that in the cold water which I don't know why pull up the skin here and away we go I just stropped this just, just before the shave actually taste that bad at all. Nice minty flavour. <laughs> Just dry my right hand there because I'm going to use my right hand away. I don't know what the frick this lump is. It's got a little lump in my head. So it's a little bit of a war.
Certainly. With each stroke and each use of this razor, or these straight razors, you do become way more proficient with them. If you go back to my first sheaves with the straight razor, that little part I just did there on the left side was nigh on impossible. I'm just going to come to the water out, so it's time to chuck a spool of ladder in here. And one thing I do like about Phoenix and Bow <coughs> and several other artisans out there, <coughs> even though they're very high oil content, fat content, whatever you want to cook, I mean they're all fats essentially with that use, which give you the slickness and stuff like that. Even though they're very high in fat content and oil content they still dissipate and dissolve in cold water. Now, I have come across a few which haven't, and it makes life difficult. Clogs up your brush with sort of oils and crap, but it also clogs up your razors, it dirties your razors up really fast. I feel pretty confident I'm going to fire away straight into the cross grain with the straight again. So for my left side I'll use my right hand basically. So you shave like that on your right and then all I do to do is shave the left side of my face and across the grain is to invert it and spin it around like so. And then you can get a hold of your ear, blow out your cheek. soap just on my fingers. Right, so this section here, I just pull down at the side, I sort of hold the razor more like that. This is for me where the Drudic Bitters. My hinkles. Because with the hinkles, it's just a little bit rough against the rain. As you can see, the true deck just plows through. Right, left hand now for the right side of the face. Side of my face, right side of my face.
So I'm not surprising that was better. That little white mark there, right there, I think is a cup. Yeah, have a treat. Right, yeah. I oh, know that's just a weeper. No, well, maybe not. I might have been lucky. But very, very nice shave. Not finished. I'm going to finish off with the carvel from comb today. I'm just going to close up the razor and set it aside. I'll finish off with that in a minute. Craving shaving, eh? Now this is a very, very well made brush. It has no tooling marks on it whatsoever. The cast is beautiful. He turned over the, the brush in, in terms of how long it took me to pick the colours I wanted and stuff. And actually making the brush was very, very quick. It's just a stunning little brush. Right, so I'm going to go sit pretty much across the green again with the carb Christopher Bradley open comb C plate. 0.85 blade gap, but obviously in a C open comb format. The really shaves don't come much closer than that for me anyway. With such a level of comfort, the soap protects you. The straight, although a very sharp blade on your skin feels very, very comfortable. on the soap is spot on. It is actually a little bit stronger than I thought. I thought it was a little bit less mentally than that, but it's not. It's really, really nice. A good bit of strength to the menthol in there. I would probably put it at a similar sort of level as snake bite in terms of menthol feel. It's certainly by no means stirred in glacial or even stirred in menthol, which I find more mentally than this. But it also lingers as well. The menthol will linger on beyond the shade itself, which is nice. I've got a couple of little weepers down here, mainly from the, the carve at the end, but also a couple from the straight razor as well. All in all, wow, what a shave. I'm just gonna finish off now with a good little dollop of Anherb aftershave conditioner. This stuff's incredible. It feels, if you've used, you've not used it before, it feels like there's menthol in here. There isn't in the ingredients, but from what I'm told, there is camphor, which is a derivative of menthol. And it's also very, very cooling. Right, this is a little bit I'm just going to shave my top lip a bit.
beautiful. The good thing with moisturising creams is when you get them wet they're actually quite slick and because you're putting something that's got great skin properties over your skin it's not too bad really. It works a little bit like a thin layer of shaving cream. Obviously don't shave your whole face with it unless you use Omni Shave Butter which pretty much is a moisturising cream to shave with. It's not a, a lathering thing at all. <coughs> right, so the soap for today was Denali by Phoenix and Bow. You can probably just see it written across here. It's quite hard to see sometimes, but I think in the camera it really pings out, which looks like that. There is your ingredients list if you want to have a look. Lovely clean set of ingredients. The brush for today was my Craving Shaving Siri brush with the Duranot from Phoenix Artisan Design Accoutrements, which is a beautiful, soft, dense, crisp feeling note with no scratch or scritch or anything. It's just comfortable on the face, but plenty of scrub. The first razor was the Drew Dick Custom, which you've seen on the channel quite a few times now. It is an absolutely beautiful razor. Seven eighths, half hollow, just cut so, so well. Finished the shave off today with the Carve Christopher Bradley razor C plate open comb which aren't available to the public yet. I don't think they're too far away. He's just trying to figure out a process to be able to make them faster so they can get them out the door because he does have a very high demand for his product. He wants to make sure that when he releases stuff that he's got enough on hand to actually cover all the orders. And I finished off today with Anherb Aftershave Conditioner, which I believe it was Nav M who comments a lot on the channel, sent this over to me. And it's absolutely brilliant, it really is. I'm pretty sure he sent it. He might not have done it, it might have been someone else. <laughs> Or it was Anne Nav that told me about it once I got it, but I'm pretty sure Nav sent it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.